Just hours ago, Justice Natalie Hudson was named the next Chief Justice of Minnesota's highest court. Chief political reporter John Croman was there for her historic appointment. It is my incredible pleasure to know that we will be appointing Associate Justice Natalie Hudson to be Minnesota's next Chief Justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court. Governor Walls has elevated Associate Supreme Court Justice Natalie Hudson to the top post on the high court, even though she's not far from the mandatory retirement age of 70. Yes, I, I'm four years from retirement, but I thought it was a wonderful opportunity. I've learned so much as a justice over, and as a judge over the last 20 years, and I thought I would leave that, that decision to the governor. She's been a justice since 2015, and before that served on the Minnesota Court of Appeals, Attorney General's Office, St. Paul City Attorney's Office, Hamlin Law, Private Practice, and Southern Minnesota Legal Aid. We have some incredible uh, judges in this state who abide by the rule of law, who are dedicated to the people of Minnesota, and to ensuring that our courts are are open and fair and accessible to everyone that comes through those doors. In October, she'll replace Chief Justice Lori Gilday, who has served 17 years on the court, 13 of them as chief, a job that also includes overseeing the budget for the entire court system. That is the work we have been about these past 13 or so years, giving the people a chance at justice. Gilday's retirement will create an opening on the court, and the governor tapped his own lead counsel, Carl Procaccini, as the new associate justice. When a, when a judge raises their right hand and takes that oath of office, uh, they are uh, swearing their, their loyalty to the people of Minnesota, to the Constitution of Minnesota, to the laws of Minnesota. Now, House Republicans today said they were not happy with the choice of Procaccini because as counsel for Walls, he led the team that wrote the emergency orders during the pandemic. But Procaccini, the new justice, says he's proud of the work his team did. And of course, the legislature has no say in the Supreme Court appointments here in Minnesota, but the voters do. Uh, the justices have to run for re-election uh, whenever they're on the ballot the next. So back to you. All right. Thank you, John.